What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here to talk about the latest, hottest controversy people are mad about. Some people, not everybody. But boy, oh boy, is the social media sphere upset. They are mad. The most impossible, improbable, craziest thing ever has happened. Evil social media influencers. They're all evil. We're all evil are getting trading cards in an upcoming top set. How dare fanatics do such a thing? How could they? How could they do this to the hobby that we all love? Cue up uh, an SCR song here, I think. Uh, jokes aside, uh, I've seen this go around for the last couple days. I'm a little late to the party here because of the whole no power situation at the beginning of the week kind of sent content this week into a minor tailspin. So I'm playing catch up a little bit. For those that don't know, what am I being all dramatic about? Tops Big League, a set designed for kids, is including uh, a five card insert checklist of hobby influencer child short prints, whatever that means. Uh, they include Aaron from Slab Stocks, Jeff Wilson from SCI, Ryan. From CC2, Stephanie from Mama Breaks, and Tim from Slab Strong. Now, I only know two of these people personally, I guess. I've met them both and had conversations with both of them. That is Jeff and Ryan. Uh, I do not know Aaron from Slab Stocks. I've been in the same room as him multiple times, but never had a conversation. I've never had any direct conversation with Stephanie from Mama Breaks. We follow each other on IG beyond that. Uh, and I do not know Tim personally from slab strong these could be wonderful people they could be terrible people i don't really know i've never met them and i don't tr i try not to form an opinion on someone until i've actually met them that being said i do know ryan and i do know jeff i've had conversations with both of them over the years you would think this is the death of sports cards because they included these guys in their hot take i could care less. I don't know how out of a take that is. The amount of angst a segment of people have for this, and I'm, I'm painting with a broad brush here as we often do. Uh, I'm just going by like buzz that I'm seeing on the interwebs on social media. Media. A lot of people don't care, but a lot of people seem to care and are angry about how dare they? How dare fanatics? Is this, I've seen this post before, is this what we can expect from the Fanatics future? It's all garbage. It's all trash. Burn it all to the ground. What are they doing? They're pillaging the hobby. What is happening? Um, guys, girls, can we take it down like 15 notches? If, if you want to get mad about stuff in the hobby, there's way bigger things to get mad about than a five-card checklist with some influencers on it. I mean, really? What one I, I would love to know the people that are legitimately mad and upset about this and you know the cat angry typing on the keyboard gif on Facebook pages. When is the last time you bought Tops Big League as a product? Because this is a product that's not really designed for me and you. I could tell you I've never chased a card from it. There are a couple high priced Otani autos out of it from back in the day, but for the most part, the boxes sell very cheap. Uh, this is the set that they're putting in the, uh, you know, you can pull the redemption for an athlete to follow you on social media. All that sort of fun stuff's going in there. There is actually some cool autographs. There's a cool, cool Bo Jackson auto with an 8-bit theme to it that I wouldn't mind stumbling across at some point in time in my life. But let's be honest. I mean, I could be wrong here. 95% of the people watching this video probably have never bought Topps Big League and probably never had any intentions to buy Topps Big League. It's just the newest thing to be mad about on the internet. And when there's influencers involved, it ratchets it up to a whole other level. Listen, I get wanting to be mad at influencers, but one, we're not all evil, just most of us. Two, like I said, there's just way crazier crap going on right now than this nonsense. Is it a little bit of nonsense? Sure. Do I care? Not really. It does not affect me at all. And to be frank, and I can only speak to this one personally because I have seen it with my own two eyes, kids actually 
really like Card Collector 2. I don't know how I feel about the other ones because I've never been in the same room with a bunch of kids and uh, the influencers in question here. But I see the way kids interact with Ryan at trade nights. It's national. I've been to his shop at least a half a dozen times for trade nights. Hell, he has a kids themed trade night. He's always giving stuff away to kids. He keep, treats kids great. They're always giving him gifts, getting stuff signed by him. So, not every kid. Some kids are going to open that pack, get that card out and be like, what in the hell is this? Next card, please. There are probably legitimately some kids out there. I know this is going to come as a shock. They're going to open some of these and might actually be legitimately excited about it. At least Ryan. I'm not sure about Jeff uh, and I'm not sure about the other ones. Cause like I said, I, I just don't know them quite as well, but Ryan specifically, there's a certain segment of kids that would probably be pretty excited about that card. Listen, it's not a product for us and that's okay. They're going to try stuff like this. Maybe it fails. Guess what? They'll never do it again. They're experimenting in a low tier entry level product. More power to them. We've given the card companies crap for the last three years for going backwards, not innovating, not trying new things, just adding 75 more one-on-ones and some extra disco purple swirly balls and leaving it at that and just printing things to the moon. At least they're trying something. Are people going to be running out buying packs for the influencer thing? No. They threw that in. They threw in the athlete follow. There's a bunch of other random stuff in here that sounds kind of cool if you were a kid. There's a, uh, you can win your chance to be in a trading card next year in this product. If I was a kid, that'd be cool. So I, I just don't understand all the angst about this one. Like I said, it's not everybody. It's, it's, the, it's probably, in all honesty, the vocal minority that are mad about this or upset about it or frustrated by it. Listen, if you're upset by this, get a hobby from the hobby. That's all I could tell you. R remember, listen, you know, we, we talk about, you know, the financial side more often than not on this channel. We dive into collecting every once in a while. I know, I know, but normally we're the evil card flippers on the scummy streets. All we care about is how much extra percentage we can milk out of something. I get it. But in the long run, let's not forget why we're here. We like expensive pieces of paper, expensive pieces of cardboard. Sometimes someone might scribble a name on it. Sometimes they make it purple instead of plain and silver and put little numbers on the back and we get excited about it. This isn't life or death, guys and girls. Everybody, just take it down a notch. Relax. Deep breath. And if you truly are fired up about this, like legitimately mad about it, maybe it's time to find a hobby to take your mind off the hobby, if that makes sense. Because y'all strung a little too tight. Trust me, life is way too short and our time on this earth is way too precious to be getting fired up because Jeff Wilson has a short print trading card in Topps Big League of all things. And look at it this way. At minimum, we're going to get entertainment value out of this. You know Lamine James is going to have a field day with these influencer cards. So worst case scenario, we're going to get entertainment value out of that. That's all I got for you, boys and girls. Everybody just relax. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.